Well, do you know what's worse than a GPS that doesn't work properly? <laughs> what? An RV GPS that doesn't work properly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more critical. Yes. You're pulling stuff. True. You can't just bust a U-turn, man. Yeah. You know what's worse than an RV GPS that doesn't work properly? <laughs> what? A company that makes RV GPSs that screw you over. Yeah. That's not nice. <laughs> Why? You know what's worse than that? Oh, God. There's more. <laughs> Army GPS company that screws you over and won't do anything about it. Oh, well, yeah. That's bad. You know what's worse than that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> worse than that is a company that makes Army GPSs that continue to screw people over. Mm. And they know that they're screwing people over and they keep doing it anyway. Dang. Thought I was harsh. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We have a GPS that is no longer functioning properly. We're going to tell you all about it. We're going to tell you which model so you don't have to buy it and get <laughs> screwed like we did. Um, and we don't do a lot of videos like this because I don't like to badmouth companies. No, you don't. But I gave them the opportunity to make it right and they chose poorly. <laughs> We bought, uh, about three years ago, right before we hit the road, we bought the Rand McNally RV ND7 mm -hmm. RV GPS. Yeah. And we did that because we wanted to be able to plug in our height, our length, our weight, all that stuff so we wouldn't get in a tight spot. Correct. Like low overpasses, uh, tight turns, um, off-roading, mm -hmm. um, U-turns, gravel roads, all that stuff we can yeah. program in. To where we don't have to get in that situation well it worked very good for the first couple years yeah and then great. like recently it started just acting crazy you wish she was making me mad yeah because she was taking us like routes that didn't make sense yeah trying to take us like down two-lane roads switchbacks or, sharp curves or be on a major interstate and then all of a sudden she thinks we're not on the interstate yeah, anymore. Yeah, little icon, our little RV icon. Here's the road. Our little RV, RV icon would be out in the middle of the field. She thinks we're off-roading now. And she's doing her recalculating, recalculating, recalculating. recalculating. And, and all the while, I don't know if we're going to come up to a low overpass or a place that was going to get us in trouble. Or our exit. Or our exit. <laughs> so I said, okay. And I did notice when we turned it on lately, Yes. it had a screen that said, Hey, your maps are over a year old. Correct. Okay. And I had been I had been trying to update this thing, and I just thought that an update was not available. Yeah, because I kept bugging you, update her. Because she's said, messing up. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I will. But every time I plug it in, it will only let you update if there is an available update. Otherwise, the button is grayed out. Right. Correct. But now we're getting the screen that says our maps are over a year old. It's a, it says your map's out of date. Update it. And it still won't. <laughs> highlight the button to be able to update yeah so that didn't make sense to me no so i was like well i'll call Rand mcnally and see what's going on i'll give him the benefit of the doubt yeah maybe i got the wrong software maybe there's a newer version or something maybe i'm not doing something right so i call him up and i said hey this is happening to me i explained the whole situation and she goes oh like all nonchalantly too oh, yeah like it's oh, common we don't we don't make those uh, gps's anymore as a matter of fact we don't make any RV GPSs anymore. Anymore, yeah. And I'm like, well, oh, that's news. <laughs> I can't update my map. And she goes, I know. <laughs> and I was like, well, what are you gonna do? What are, this is not this is obviously not a big deal to you. <laughs> yeah. But it's a big deal to me because I can get stuck. So I said, we got what? lifetime updates. Yeah, we got lifetime. And that's what I said. I said those words exactly. I said when I bought this device, it says it has lifetime updates for the maps. And she goes. Oh, that just means for the lifetime of the device. Right. And that device is at the end of its life. They ended its life. So we're not pushing out any more updates for that device. Not making that device anymore. No. We only make the trucker RV GPS. Or the trucker GPSs now. Not the yeah. RV GPSs. I'm like, well, I don't need a trucker GPS. But I guess you could plug your own stuff in there. You can. Yeah, you can use so it. So I was like, well, can you send me a, a trucker GPS? Since you don't make RV ones anymore. And this one is only three years old. I yeah. didn't get hardly any updates out of it. Yeah. And there's really nothing wrong with the GPS other than it won't update. Yeah. And she goes, well, no, we can't send you a new one. 
You can buy one. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy one. No. Yeah. And this one was a four hundred dollar GPS at the time. I think they're in the, it. like three hundreds. New when we bought it. Yeah. You know that version was new. So I was like, I, and I, I made her say the words. I was like, so, so that we're clear, you're going to do nothing for me. And she goes, yes. Yes. And I said, okay. <laughs> I said, well, and I, I had not, I had not thrown out the YouTube card or anything yet. No. You know, I just wanted to be like a regular consumer calling up and a with, with an issue because I didn't want them to, I didn't want them to help us just because we're on social media. Yes. No. I wanted to see what the reaction was going to be without them even knowing. So then I go, well, just so you know, and you can inform your superiors that we are RV, uh, RVers on YouTube and we've been using this product and now it's not working and you're not going to do anything for us. So we're going to make everybody well, that follows us aware yeah. that you're willing to just screw people over. Well, yeah. And that you don't even put anything out. No, there was no. Send an email to the people who are registered with yeah. it or put it in general out on your web page that coming this date. Effect of this date, yeah. this GPS is being retired. Nothing. We'll no longer have updates available. We got nothing. And I registered the device, so all they, they had to do we was shoot me a message yeah. to everybody that's registered this device and say, look, we're done. So they screwed us over. And so I told her this, and she was like, okay. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> well, no, they don't pay her Whatever. enough but to care. I am a man of my word. <laughs> 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 so I said I was gonna blast them on YouTube, so that's what I'm gonna do. And and I wouldn't have blasted them as hard, and I probably and I might not have even made this video had I no. not looked up online and did some research. Oh yeah, and found out they are still selling these GPSs. Yes, that's mind blowing. On their own website, selling their their inventory still, and on Amazon, they have not pulled these devices off their shelves. No, nope. they're still selling them for over three hundred dollars a piece. And you buy this thing brand new for over three hundred dollars. Guess what? You're gonna get zero map updates yeah. ever. Because even when we bought it, it wanted you to do a map update. Yeah. So like people who are buying it now, they plug it in for the first what? time, and it's gonna say their update. Sorry. And you can't. And guess what? They're gonna call Rand McNally. Rand McNally's gonna tell them the same thing they told us. Sorry. End of life. It's in the fine print. Yeah. It's in the fine print the when it talks about print. lifetime update maps. It says well, in there what it, lifetime, lifetime to them is lifetime of the device. Yeah. And they decide what the lifetime so of the device is. So technically, they didn't do anything wrong. Didn't. No, technically. But it ain't right. No, but it is deceiving to the consumer when you advertise anything, which yeah. makes you wonder: is is that assuming it's with every device that says lifetime something? I don't know. Cause so, and we have friends who have this device. Mm -hmm. They had the same issue because we got to yeah. talking, and I was like, "Hey, I'm having this issue with my art, with my GPS." And they're like, "Well, I have the same model. I have the same issue." Uh -huh. Well, I let them know about Rand McNally now, so they're all pissed too. Yeah. But anyway, um, so we did a video on the on the Rand McNally GPS a couple of years ago. Yeah. Took that video down. Mm -hmm. It's not on there anymore. We took the device out of our Amazon shop. Yep. Not in there. I'm not helping these guys sell bad products. No. So, but we did, um, we went and bought another device. Did go and buy another device. And now we're over at Garmin. We have the Garmin 780. <laughs> yeah. And it's working great so far. Yeah, I do like her. It's easier on the, the touch. Yes. Is more sensitive. It's more like a touch screen on a smartphone or a tablet. Yeah. And so it's easier. The other one was uh, like you a hard had press. To press it for a second for it to register. Yeah. And so this one it, uh, also has like real time updates of, you know, obstacles in the road yeah. or speed traps or what. The Rand McNally didn't have that. No. And the, I like the, the live does. traffic is what I, yeah. I'm enjoying. Too. And it hasn't steered us wrong yet. And it supposedly come with like lifetime updates too <laughs> for maps. But now so. we know. We'll it see. might be a general RV thing where lifetime is until yeah. they decide it's no longer living. So it's been working for us so far. We probably won't even do like a full review of the of the Garmin 780. We'll only pop on if something goes wrong with it. But in the meantime, we did put that in our store, in our Amazon it's, shop. Yeah, it was mostly just to do a PSA. Yeah, just let you know not to buy this piece of crap. <laughs> you were going to say it. <laughs> you were going to say it. But anyway, we did put the we put the Garmin in our in our shop, and I'll leave a link to the Garmin 
in the description in case you want to pick one of those up. Um, hopefully you haven't already bought this Rand McNally RVND 7 GPS because it's a paperweight. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> just prop something open with it uh, anyway let us know what GPS devices that you're using some people are using apps some people are using actual GPS's and which we we do I mean it's not our sole only thing yeah. if we're not sure we question what it wants us to do we refer to our phone GPS yeah. stuff but we would really love to hear from you if you bought one of these Rand McNally GPS's and it's not working for you anymore yeah if you've been curious why yours isn't yeah. uh, well, now you right know. or updating <laughs> Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah, it sucks. But yeah. anyway, again, we don't like to do negative videos. We don't like to bash companies. But if they're still out there actively screwing people over. That's where the issue is. I'm going to get online yeah. and I'm going to blast them. You if can't I can. continue to sell something that's not functional. Yeah. It's and here's what, a... here's what chaps me a little bit more even. So Garmin, they do all kinds of stuff. And other GPS companies, uh, they yeah. do like other stuff like watches and, and, and trackers and mm -hmm. and hunting GPSs and all that stuff. Rand McNally, the only thing you do is maps. <laughs> it's your only job. Maps. Yeah. GPSs. That's it. Can't can't pull it off. Can't pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to know why they don't want to do RV GPSs anymore. I don't understand how difficult it would still be just to push out the updates. I mean, if you're doing truckers, it's no different. I mean, you still need the height restrictions and stuff, so it's not changing anything. Unless they just weren't selling. They just weren't selling in volume like they thought. Yeah, so all of you who didn't buy one, thanks. Got ours shut off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor fallen mm -hmm. heroes. So stick around and help us honor this fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything that you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Don't buy this GPS. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.